Joining us in the day as we have a distinguished former IndyCar driver, Davey Hamilton. Hey, Davey, how are Hello, you, Hello, guys. Hello. Great to see you. Yeah, good to be here. And that's his real hair. That's my real hair. Yeah. Yeah. Unbelievable. Good. I like that. Good head of hair. Good yeah. Look at that head of hair. And then, Look at that head of hair. <laughs> and then, uh, Drew, you have this great head of hair, but you're still wearing a cap. Yes, well, you know, we, it was early this morning. I didn't have time for my Aquanet. Ah. <laughs> ah. Uh, yes. Or did you shower? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Drew doesn't get out of the house without a shower. That's the only thing that wakes Drew up. Okay. And, okay. Drew starts, and then he starts talking about himself in the third person. Now, and I insist you do it from now on. Okay, Drew, Drew will do that for you. Now, uh, D Davey Hamilton is part of the uh, Indianapolis Motor Speedway radio network. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Heard worldwide. Worldwide, yeah, absolutely. It's fun, great times. Radio's good. You're, yeah. good, you're good at it too, man. I've listened to it many times out in California. Yeah, you got a knack. You know, the best part about radio is no meetings. TVs or meetings and either strategies and what we're going to talk about. Radio, we get on and just do it. You know? yeah. and, and the great thing with radio as well, it, on TV, they have to talk about what's on TV. We talk about the action all around the racetrack full time. And the, the crew's been there a long time, as you know. Mark Jaynes is the host and a lot of great uh, corner announcers. And it just makes it fun. We, we just talk about what's happening. It's, uh, it's good uh, Some of those corner guys used to work with us. Yeah, they did. Yeah. And they well, got promoted. Well, Michael, right, obviously. Yeah, yeah. Michael. Yeah. Track a, dude. Track dude, yeah, <laughs> yeah. So, so no, no meetings, huh? No, not, well. We have one a week. So here's the deal. I'm driver analyst, so I don't need to meet about it. I just see what, I, I call it what I see, right? If a yeah. driver does something, so there's really no, they, they just throw it to me. And I show up about, I really try, even if I'm like five minutes early, I'll stand outside to make sure I'm only like one minute early. I don't want to admit too used to me being there early, right? <laughs> Smart move. Yeah. yeah. Now That's you what gotta, Josh does. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> Except I usually just show up one minute early. <laughs> you get so much inside info. Do you spend time like kind of snooping around? Yeah, you know, I still, you know, I, we're talking about Santino. I heard you guys talk about him earlier. Um, obviously, I drove for AJ Foyt. I'm um, still good friends. Uh, you know, I have to stay um, updated on, on what the cars are doing, how they handle. You know, the aero screen was a big deal for everybody. You know, just try to get used to that. So, um, yeah, I communicate with all the drivers, just try to find out strategies, figure out what's going on. So, you know, I stay cool. updated. I was talking to, I haven't told you this, uh, my good friend Simon Pagino. Who, yeah, you know, former, still, former yeah, winner. He, he yeah, drove for me. Former yeah. winner, yeah. And he was, oh, did he? Yeah. Okay. Well, see, he's coming back from that incredible yeah, accident. Right. Um, but he he's, gets to drive Gilles Different. Yeah, that's great. Yeah, he sure. was saying that that car, I forget what year it was that, that, that he's driving. Do you know? It was a 2000, did he win one? I can't Six, remember. Yeah. 16. Oh, so, oh, yeah, oh, that's right. It's the last one, the marble. Yeah. yeah, yeah that's right. He, yeah. Said yeah. He, got, he got in that thing, and it's so different from the car. Yeah. He's like, it's so low to the ground, and it's like, yeah. Yeah. This is a, the, one of the, the parade laps. The parade laps, yeah. He'll be driving the honor of Gilles Different. Yeah, it's a really cool thing. So actually, you know, I actually drove for Gilles. Jill DeFerrin. So I drove for Jill. It was a Luso Dragon DeFerrin racing. So I drove for Jill, a great guy. And it's just a sad story that, that he passed. But then when I retired, um, I had Hewlett Packard for a sponsor, which was great. And, and um, w when you retire as a driver, you hope your sponsor wants to stay with you. And so Sam Schmidt and I used to have a team together with Hewlett Packard. So we hired Simon and uh, what a class guy, right? He came out, nice. we started winning races and things are, you know, he, he was just, he's a great guy. He's a guy. good, good yeah. race yeah. car driver. Yeah, Simon's driving the 2003. 2003, yeah. That yeah. Faron was. So they see uh, some of these classic cars going, it's got to be a, interesting gig to get, yeah. oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. to get those things started and running again. Oh, they have a full team that does that. Yeah, they have a full team. It's Vintage amazing. Indy, yes. Anybody got any cables? <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> we, Damn you know, batteries, Dad. I, I drove uh, when AJ, it was AJ's deal, and had all his cars out there, and I think there was like 10 of us with all different styles from AJ's sprint cars to, you know, the 77 car, all of his 500 winning cars. So we, uh, they asked me which I wanted to drive, and obviously I wanted the 77, but I think Anthony Foyt decided he wanted that one. So I go, give me the sprint car. I'm a sprint car guy. I'm, you know, short tracks, how I started. So I got in the sprint car, and I thought that was cool. But I took my phone, and I'm going to, I started towards the back for a reason, and I turned my video on, and I passed everybody. So I had my, I could video it going down the straightaway. But I get done, I'm all jacked. I go, nobody's got this video. And it was Brack and Foyt and, I, and Anthony. And um, I can, I think, uh, I have a picture of everybody, but it's a bunch of cool people driving. And, I get done and I go check out the video I took and I hit it twice. So I turn it on and off. I had about two seconds of film and I go, and how do you do that again? I go, that's over, right? It's brutal. Yeah, it was brutal. Davey has the uh, distinction of driving me in the two seater. He's yeah. still doing the two seat ride. I gave I gave her a ride like no man's ever. Gave ride of my car, life, right? baby. Yeah. Yeah. I would say that. Is, isn't your husband here? For God's he's on his way. <laughs> well, he's on his way a little quicker. Now. <laughs> I see. 
when you're driving a car, sometimes there'll be delays, et cetera, et cetera, and you have to hydrate a lot. Right. Yeah. Um, uh, you can't get out of the car to pee. Well, you just go. You just yeah. go? You just do it. Yeah. It's hard to do well. So I've only had an issue. I'm pretty good hydrating. I was always, but when the race was delayed, which one here at Indy, we ran it on, uh, rained out Sunday. We came back Monday. It rained out. We got started, but it rained out again Monday, and we ended up running the race on Tuesday. So those are the days that are hard to get hydrated properly because you don't know it's going to stop raining, raining, and it's going to start again. But trying to go to the bathroom at 230 mile an hour is not easy. Oh, actually, I'd go to the bathroom immediately. <laughs> <laughs> it would be. Uh, and it wouldn't be number one. Yeah, be a, <laughs> it would be a sphincter blast in turn one. <laughs> I, I can assure you. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it's interesting to me. I mean, these guys are going so fast. And uh, this year, the, the times at the trials between what's number one and what's number 33, not that much of a difference. Yeah, you know, every year just gets closer and closer. And the great thing um, this year as well is the, the qualifying four-lap track record was broke, mm -hmm. which I think is pretty cool. I mean, it's been a long time. Ari had it. Right. Good thing with Ari, he's our friend. We love Ari. I, I, he said, uh, you know, it's time. You know, track record needs to be broke. But I'd, I'd just assume Ari keep it. I think that's a good name to have on the track record. And, he's, you know, he's a badass. And... And uh, he has the one lap one still, so he still has the all-time track record around here. But, you know, you look at the, you look at the speeds from the top to bottom, and it, it really is amazing how, how tight everybody is. And, and uh, of, of uh, interest, yesterday we interviewed a bunch of the guys, and th this is such an international event. There are three Danes oh, yeah, that's right. in the race, and uh, Mr. Dyke, who you mentioned, of course, uh, is, is uh, part, of, part of that group. Yep. And we learned some what Danish swear words. Do you remember yes, any of the good did. ones? I can't remember. <laughs> One of them sounded suspiciously like the American F word. Yes, oh. exactly. Very close. Okay, but, then we don't want favorite, to say that. My favorite was like universally though the F word works in all languages. Yeah, people get that. Yeah, one. and okay. Yeah, yeah. works in yeah. all languages. Yeah, which, which is which is good to know. And the hand signals are the same in all <laughs> languages. You know, yeah, yeah. When, when you're telling me you're number one. Yes, ah. okay, of course. 